Hey guys, this is Jake from Memory Cards and I'm bringing you a review of Robonauts on the Nintendo Switch. So Robonauts is kind of a children's game, I would say. It's even on their website, it says it's great for the whole family. Um, there are 12 levels in the entire game. There are two difficulty settings, casual and hard. Uh, the graphical style kind of reminds me of a Disney movie, kind of like Pixar like Wally, to be honest, even the main character reminds me of Wally. So the main character, you start off as this weak and feeble character who's like launched into this area and you have to figure out how to save yourself from being destroyed. In the first level, you come across a suit which will power you up and give you some guns and weapons and extra health and whatnot. And you're able to upgrade. Well, sorry, not upgrade. You're able to get, I guess, weapons that will last you a certain amount of time on each level which is pretty fun, to be honest. There are quite a few good things about the game, such as the gameplay. The gameplay is quite fun, to be honest, especially when you're jumping between planets. It reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy in that regard. Other than that, though, the gameplay itself pretty much just settles down to be the same throughout each level, because each level will just be like, oh, destroy these enemies so you can go to the next part. Save these parts of our ship so you can go to the next part. Save our mining gear so you can proceed to the next level. And I would have preferred to see a lot more variation in gameplay, maybe some sort of mission where you have a robot following you that you have to protect so it'll become a little bit harder or something like that. Another thing that kind of rubs me the wrong way about this game is that throughout the entire game, like the gameplay doesn't change up. Sure, you get different guns, you get some, you know, fire bombs, Molotov cocktails, type things like that. But all the enemies are pretty much just the same. You know, like the difficulty doesn't really change other than the fact that there will be more enemies on screen. The only times that I actually really died in this game was just being overrun by enemies. So I guess the difficulty does kind of ramp up in that regard, but I would have liked to see some sort of variation with the difficulty. So obviously me as a 25 year old, I don't really think that I am their target demographic for this game. Uh, their website says it's great for the whole family. And I believe that they mean it's good for children with their parents, you know, playing with them because there is a co-op and a mode where you can go head to head and fight each other. So all in all, I would definitely recommend this game to somebody who wants to get their children into gaming and play more simplistic video games, but I wouldn't recommend this for somebody who is looking for a engaging story or anything like that. Thanks for checking out the review. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again.